Hello, hello, hello. Um, tractor pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm going to do a bit of a series on the Crumper tip trailer. This is Proto again, obviously. Um, that moves up like that. So what I'm going to do is I've got some tabs that I'll have to remove. Interesting. Learning, learning, learning. Anyway. Um tipping mechanism or not, which I've got, which I'll give you guys a bit of a look at. Um as well as work out a bar system to come across here that hooks up onto this um, so that comes up when you come up that'll be the neutral position and that stays on the bottom and then when this comes up that'll force that to come up um, and the lights and stuff like that so it's got colours so I mean it's it's got basis of a lot of it already there drill some holes and put some LEDs in it and then go from there depending on, on how I want to do it um, so what I'm going to do is pull it apart and um, then we can have a look at what we're doing cool take apart on the top of this up in here um, a little bit around in here and that takes off I'm assuming the whole tipping mechanism on the back at the moment I'm not going to bother taking that off because I don't see if I need to um, that's the mud flaps that I need to sort of jimmy that around a little bit um, the silver cradle so this sits on the top of the chassis like that and then that clips onto it on these bits here and here um, and then that clips down on there. What I have done is actually gone ahead and kind of um, mocked my tipping mechanism up a little bit. Um, I am going to put it on about here somewhere um, then that sits on top of it and then this pushes it up and back down again. There's already holes there, I might move it back a little bit, I'm not 100% sure yet, but um, I haven't cut anything this far. I've got some brackets and stuff, so I'm going to start sort of looking at how that all looks and what we've done there. You'll see I have sort of mocked it up, had a look, so I'm actually going to go install it um, <coughs> and, and get some mechanism working on it. Um, I haven't quite worked out. I want to use a servo to run the screwdrive, 
um, while this works and it's awesome, that means another ESC and power and things like that. So I will um, have a look at what we've got there. And I'm not quite sure. I've got a servo. I mean, I can put an ESC in you know, it. There's no issues there. It's just um, running it from the tractor. That's all. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Right, so, um, got it mocked up, I still need to do some adjustments, but I thought I'd show you guys where I'm at. Um, I've gone with a servo, for now, it's slow, so, um, I think my theory will be is that I will re, re-thread it, uh, with a bigger screw thread, <coughs> um, like the Huna. Um, screw threads for, for the excavator so that it spins faster and I'll keep the servo therefore I don't need to worry about um, running a power supply and an ESC to the trailer um, I mean realistically I, I mean this isn't going to be doing hard work like you see some of the European guys doing and uh, things like that it, it is uh, more of a display model, but I do want it to be functional, so it will be able to take, you know, bit of bit of light stuff in the trailer and tip it off and, and do some work and stuff like that. Um, obviously, I, there's room for improvement and things like that, but what I'll do right now is just um, show you it moving. That's just an old servo. I was just opened it up um, and took the limiter out of it and set the um, set the the dial on there. I think it's called a baton, uh, pentameter. I think. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Um, so that it was centered, and now that servo just continu continuously spins one way or continuously spins the other way. So you will need to be a bit careful. Um, <clears throat> but you know. It's there, it's not all 100% lined up yet, but it's in there, um, I do need to do a lot of tidying up, um, so what I'll do now is turn that off, turn that off, <coughs> just give you guys a bit of a look, um, so, ooh, in there, maybe, yep there it is you can see the screw for the for the tipper hitch um, I've just put one in in there for now just to hold it in place so that I can get the movement and um, still you know obviously this is just a mock-up um, I've made an adapter from my servo and you know I just had a um, this here is a spare cross member from my trail finder 2 a plastic one that I've sort of just cut out and put it on a pivot point um, 
and things like that so I do need to square it all up put some washers and tidy up my cuts but that's um, pretty much where I'm at so it works which I'm pretty wrapped with I need to change the length of my rods because it won't come all the way down yet um, and, and yeah so I'm pretty happy with the way that it is some spaces and some washers to help hold it uh, that's kind of what it looks like from underneath um, up the front here same again some washers and some spaces that's that there um, this is probably not the servo that I'm going to use um, <coughs> I'm going to get off AliExpress uh, some Omni wheels that go directly onto a servo I'll probably get like a 20 kg uh, metal high torque high speed servo I also think um, <clears throat> I'll probably re-thread this, depending on how fast the new servo is, but probably re-thread this will get a new piece of rod and re-thread it with a bigger thread and put a bigger thread on the thread in here so that it moves it up faster and you'll understand why in a second. Um, but that is essentially the mechanism in and working, um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, <clears throat> so I ended up sort of taking some of this apart so that it didn't use as much. Um, I, I mean this is not going to be too bad um, what else I've got here is I've put a washer in there um, and a washer in here just as a bit of a, a displacement of weight and then that's on the, the wheel rack so that's that done um, so I'm going to get a faster servo um, and probably re-thread that rod to a bigger rod um, which will allow it to spin uh, re thread into a bigger thread which will spin faster which will mean that uh, it'll go up and down and, uh, that's the tipping mechanism so I'm pretty happy with the way that that's all turned out it looks pretty good um, very minimal cutting um, everything sort of on the inside how strong it'll be I'm not sure yet it should lift something um, but this is just sort of like I said just mocking it up um, <coughs> I've tried it all up I'm going to change stuff but uh, unfortunately because of the time and that it is at the moment I can't I don't have a tap and dice um, set so I need to go get one or um, a made of mine's definitely got one um, so either way I might end up looking at getting my own but <coughs> um, I can't get it at the moment because where I am in New Zealand we're, we're completely locked down uh, we've still got about a week and a half to go um, on our lockdown here um, but that's my trailer at the moment so I'm going to move on to looking at getting some lights into it um, and sorting out the tailgate mechanism as well but that's pretty much it for this video um, hope you guys have enjoyed what I've done and seen what I've done um, and we'll just you know I'm just going to keep plodding along with what I've got where I've got at the moment and I'll give you some updates on what I do change uh, a bit later but thanks very much